hello there dear friends so in this video i'll be walking guys through on how are we able to make this particular line graph here and as you can see here this line graph is actually really popular in most of the ui ux uh, design templates that you have actually come across in most platforms like dribble behance and most of the social media platforms so as i would say this is really um, how do you say really important to have this skill of designing like this to be mastered and also we can see many in many designs you can actually find this particular ui uh, design just to uh yeah, just to make something like this really good looking ui of line graph and let's get started that's what you're gonna, you're gonna do currently and there you go guys i just created an empty figma file like this so let's get uh, started as you can see here let me just make it a bit more bigger let's make the size to be small okay so as you can see here first of all we need to make use of this pen tool here so this in this case we're going to draw the initial sketch of how the graph is going to be in this case i'd like to make it like simple how a graph would look like just like some some sort of uh, lines like this and of course you can actually make it like something like even more better than this also so i'm just going to make something exactly like this by the way so it's going to be something like this so so what I just what I just did here, I just did some uh, set of lines like this. The next thing here, I like to go to without any clicking on anything. I would like to click on this particular uh, band tool. Yeah, that's what it's called. So of course, I'm going to make this once I selected this band tool. I'm going to go to each and every single uh, points, the pointy, uh, uh, I would say the yeah the, the corners. I would say all the points like this. I'm going to make it bend it. I'm gonna make it bend like this so as you can see i just bent make made it to be bended like this and also i'm gonna do the same thing for here as well so i'm just gonna make it a simple little just a little bend would do and also here and just do the same thing for every single i'm just gonna hit uh, i mean hold on shift while bending it every single uh pointy uh pointy corners i would say and next thing is here and here we're doing the same thing just make it just a little bend would do like this and just and also for the last uh, point here, I'm gonna do the same thing like this. So in this case, I'll, I'll do the same thing like this. Okay. So I, I, what I did here, I just made a simple bend, a simple line, and I just made it bend with the bend tool like this. And that's the first step. So as you can see here, we can actually uh, click on the next. We can actually make it done first. Okay. So this is the first thing that we like to do. Just have a simple line here. So I like to make make the line to be uh, have a better. Uh, thickness for example in this case I like give 10 and 10 10 not seem to be very okay very thick so I'm just gonna make it yeah I'm just gonna make it 50 I guess okay so next next thing I'll have to do is I like to add the uh, gradient like this the gradient gradient that comes below just right below this uh, particular line here so what I'll be doing here I'll, I'll go to uh, actually I'll be taking uh, this particular uh, uh, yeah move tool and I'll be making a copy of this vector one, which is this. We just made it here, so it's gonna make a copy. Just gonna say copy and paste, and it becomes vector two. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take the pen tool again. And in this case, I like to go and click on this particular uh, edit object uh, tool as well. So in this case, by having vector two select, by the way. Okay. Okay, something like this. So we're gonna do take the pen tool, edit object. I'm gonna edit this object like this. Uh, this is how it should look like. And why, like, by having vector two selected, I'm just gonna take this line here, select. I mean, click on that last line, and I'll be making a straight line that comes directly. I mean, comes uh, directly uh, down until it reaches this point where it is. Uh, it it meets. It's like actually uh, able to uh, at the same length of the the last the first point that we did. And I'm gonna click here. The second thing I'll do is just do is just like continue this line and just do I'm just gonna go until I connect to the first point here. So I'm gonna click here as well. So as you can see, your vector two is actually a different shape. So it's a vector two is only has the top part, while vector two is actually having the bottom part together with the top part. So that's what vector two will be. So inside vector two is where we're gonna place the gradient. So I'm just gonna click on done. Once I've already clicked on gun, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove the stroke for vector two. As you can see here, vector two has the stroke here, but we don't we don't need stroke for vector two. Okay, so just remove stroke. But we need to have fill. We need to have fill option for vector two. So I'm gonna say fill. 
this case it's going to be a gradient and not a solid so it's going to say linear and as you can see here this is already like having some color but let's give some blue that actually makes like actually should uh, complement to the uh, to the line here and make sure we should be having a huge contrast between the one in the bottom here and the one on top here so how are we able to do that is that we need to make sure we uh, make it make it like a bit more lighter like this okay just bring it like this just bring your your direction to something like this and this all you have to do just make sure your there is a huge contrast between the line here and the, the what is inside here and we can also make it a bit more better by just pulling it even more higher okay so that that way we are able to do a huge contrast between the line and its content so the next thing i have to do here is that i can actually make it even more lighter like this and just like that and what i can also do i can also increase the thick the, i mean the the thickness of this line also from 50 i like to make it to 100 and there you go this is how a bet this is even more better looking so as you can see this is the basic way of how are we able to make the line a uh, line graph with with the uh, with the gradient inside of it so the next thing that i would like to also to do is actually let's make like a point here let's 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 choose this ellipse tool here let's say my point i'll like place the point right here so in this case let's say i want to place it right here and i'll make it fill to be white okay and i would like also to have a, a shadow like this like a shadow it says which means like i'm just going to have it uh yeah just going to have it here and just going to make the spread i mean capacity to be to be 50 percent and 50 percent is still not enough for me because my my, my image is kind of big by the way 100 percent and yeah of course i need to make the uh y axis to to be to, to come down a bit and make the blurriness to like yeah i like to increase the blurriness to 50 percent 100 percent uh, then I also need to give some more spread, bring it a bit more bottom, blur to be 2 by 0. And of course, I like to reduce the opacity, I mean, in this case, I like to reduce the opacity to 25 back. And let's let, let's make the blur to be uh, 150. Not, yeah, let's not give so much. And yeah, bit, now it's a bit more better. Let's make it even more better by reducing this opacity to uh, 15 would do okay and there you go that that's that's just perfect like this and we can also add more uh, detail like let's add another blue color let's like another circle inside here so in this case it's gonna be like this okay so in this case i could make a blue color like like the line the color of the line like this okay sorry this is gonna be fill i'm just gonna take the color of this line here and there you go that is how are we able to make some point to a particular line graph here so as you can see here what we just hit, did here we just did an awesome good looking line graph here which we can we can actually do it without even need of any other plugins or any other uh, help from other generator so thank you guys for watching this video till the end and let's catch up in our next video where i'll be walking you guys through more of the such great designs so until then peace